is William K. Murta, Mert Witness One, and today we are going to talk about the great Timmy Hoffa scandal. Now, in the order of importance, this is probably not a really important scandal that Timmy Hoffa or whoever is behind this stunt got themselves in. But it does come to prove something that I have contended about Timmy Hoppe and the people that surround him for years. So let's get up front as to what the scandal is all about. Now, recently, a picture was put up on Facebook and I got tagged in the message. So naturally, somebody sent me the picture. And basically it shows someone in a t-shirt and it has you don't know me witness protection program federal federal witness protection program to correct myself and it's got a look guys got a mega hat on the face is blanked out with a text message Simple, high crack. Now, these people behind Timmy Hoppe have claimed that Timmy Hoppe is in witness protection, that he's this big federal witness, that he's got all this evidence that's going to get a whole bunch of people thrown in jail for child trafficking, drinking their blood, uh, harvesting babies for and a chrome, and all kinds of weird stuff. Fish people, lizard people, uh, extraterrestrials, whatever. You know, and I'm surprised they haven't jumped on the Jewish laser from outer space starting files in California. Conspiracy theory yet, but, you know, that'll, that's coming, probably. But anyway, so... I knew right away when I saw this that it was a was a humongous lie. It was such an obvious lie that anyone could do a Google search and debunk it instantly. And I did that. Unfortunately, I had a software crash, so I couldn't get it put up on my Saturday Murderthon in time. So I slated it and decided to do a Mobilethon instead. Especially since somebody came up with the hashtag Timmy Hoppo, which fits perfectly with everything that's going on. So my thanks to the individuals that gave me that bright idea. Now, <clears throat> Google search term is real simple. You can either type in witness protection program t-shirt or you don't know me t-shirt and the results are pretty close to the same you will get hundreds of hits for these t-shirts from online stores ETSY or Etsy I guess is how you pronounce it is the most common retailer of this particular style of shirt they run about $15 to $20 by the time you add in shipping, or if you get it free, it's sometimes you can get a little less, but it's the average price. But this explains the hoax. They simply went out, wasted $15, $20, got this t-shirt, waited three days for it to come in the mail, stood somebody up against the wall, took a picture of them, then did a little bit of photoshopping, and voila, it shows up on Facebook. And in BitChute. And so, a new lie is born. About as stupid as it gets, really, that someone would do this and would think that people are going to believe it. Now, unfortunately, there are people that believe it. 
because they don't care. At least that's the upfront. But what you have here is an example of a pathological liar. Someone that is addicted to lying just like they would be addicted to heroin or crack or alcoholism or whatever. They have an addictive personality. And the cheapest and easy way to get addicted to something is to be a pathological liar. It's in their pathology. It's in their nature. They have to lie. It's how they survive on a daily basis. It's how they get attention. They lie, lie, lie again. And like addicts, they seek out other addicts so that they can feed each other. And so it's like getting your fix from another dealer or something. You know, in this case, it's another liar. It's someone that lies as much, if not more, than you do. So you feed off that person's lies. They feed off of your lies. And you perpetuate all your lies. And then as time goes on, especially now with the Internet, you start collecting liars in a group. And all of a sudden, you got a coalition of liars. And the Q crazies are full of them. Because the Q crazy movement in itself is a lie. None of the stuff that they advocate is true. There's no such thing as Pizza Gate or this gate or that gate. There's no such thing as the deep state. It's all a bunch of lies perpetuated by a bunch of crazy people that don't know their asses in the hole in the ground. And so they start all these fairy tales and do a lot of damage to people in the process because they're accusing, you know, honest, hardworking people of a bunch of crap. And if the people that are their friends don't go along with them, they get sucked up in being lied about. It's an ever-growing cycle. And it's a cycle that cannot be broken. You have to deprogram these people like you would a... A heroin addict. You know, there. I don't know if there's a drug for it, or I don't know what kind of psychological treatment there is for it. But these people are seriously mentally ill. That's my opinion. That's why they call them pathological liars, because lying is again in their pathology. Now. This in itself wouldn't be such a big deal if the t-shirt thing was just a simple little lie or just kidding around or uh, what have you. But these people are quite literally dead serious. They believe their lies. They believe what they say. Even though they know they're lying. It's kind of a strange juxtaposition, but that's what it is. Is these people believe they're working for the government. These people believe they're part of a high command or a task force or what have you. They've actually convinced themselves that what they're doing is real. When it's completely fake. It's a fantasy. It's a fairy tale. And, you know, I, you know, I just don't understand. You know, I've met people like them all my life. Every once in a while you come across these people that they just insist on living a life that's a big fate. They're airline pilots, they're military veterans, they're policemen, they're this, they're that, the other thing, when they clearly are not. They're not kidding around. They're not pretending. They're not, you know, it's some kind of joke. They seriously believe they are these things. And there's just no getting through to them. You know, they turn on you. They make all kinds of false accusations. And they continue with their lies. They just steer their lies in a different direction. Uh... And you try to ignore the liars. 
But the problem is that they crave attention so much that they will do anything to garner attention. They just, they've got to have it. It's one of the things. They've got to have someone that they can tell their lies to. Now, the fact that they join each other and lie amongst themselves is a partial solution because it distracts them away, to some extent, from the rest of us who believe in the truth. You know, so they can lie to each other about whatever it is they're lying about. Usually it's lying about other people that believe in the truth. But the problem is, is in most cases, they can't confine their lies to within their group. They have to expand their audience. And it helps them get attention because they go after people that know they're liars, that don't want anything to do with them. And just as in this case, they are forced to confront the lie. Because if, if you ignore the liars too much, then the lie gets spread, and it's even that much harder to, to expose the lie for what it is with the proof and to minimize the damage. And so that's what people like me do. We just, every once in a while, we get to a point where we have to show just how ridiculous the lies are that these people tell so that you understand what is going on. You have got people out there that are addicted to lying. And Timmy Hoffa has been the longest lasting of these liars. He was around since 2000, spreading his lies, filing ridiculous court paperwork, lying to the court, lying under oath in order to make himself look important for whatever reason. Simply for the sake of lying. It's his only way of communicating on the world. He has to lie. And he found other people that are addicted to lying. His handler and other associates. And so they all just gather around and lie all the time. I think they sit down at a kitchen table or something and figure out what are they going to lie about next. And they come up with this crap. And this latest lie, somebody went out bought a t-shirt, put it on, and said they're in witness protection. And this is someone that we all honestly think is probably dead. Now, we don't know why this person is dead, if it's natural causes, suicide, or most likely foul play, but we have come to the conclusion that Timmy Hoppe is dead. And we ask the question, where is he at? Is he buried? Is he tied to a cinder block? You know, what happened to him? We don't know. But in the end, nothing's changed. You know, another lie has been debunked. There is no proof of life. Timmy Hoppe is still status unknown and we move on to something else. And we wait and we see what else is going to come out of the wild and wacky and too crazy world of the internet. This is William K. Murtaugh, my business one. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, come back again, see if I come up with something else ridiculous with these people, and have a good one.